guys welcome back to my channel the reason for this video today is very special to me and that is because I recently found out I was accepted into graduate school Yay! I'm so 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 excited um, I could not feel more happy or blessed specifically I was accepted into the doctoral program for clinical psychology and eventually I'm hoping to get certified um, in medical psychology which means that I can prescribe medicine so in about five years I will be a clinical psychologist and a doctor the graduate school process is extremely rigorous it's extremely competitive and it's extremely exclusive so that's kind of why I have been away from YouTube off and on and so hopefully you guys understand now why my focus has been elsewhere um, but now that I have gotten my official acceptance I thought that I would do this video in honor and celebration of that and pay it forward on some things that I know and I learned throughout the process and hopefully help some of you get into graduate school or college or whatever uh, the next step in life is for you that you're applying to. I'm going to address the whole medical school situation. Um, in a previous vidi video, which I will link below, I talked about how medical school, most people who think they're built for medical school or most people who think they want to go to medical school really should not go to medical school. And that was a very strong statement and since then I've gotten so many requests to address that so I'm going to address that in this video and after I get my potatoes out of the oven because it's beeping. So if you are interested in my tips for success in applying to graduate school and also my thoughts on if medical school is or isn't for you then stay tuned. My apologies, I'm cooking dinner. Trying to multitask. Getting ready for life as a PhD student. Okay, before I go further into this video, I should specify for those of you who don't know that graduate school is a completely different entity than medical school or law school. Medical school or law school are technically considered professional school. Um, and then graduate school is considered if you're going to get your master's or your PhD in some things. I will be going to get my PhD in clinical psychology. Um, it's completely different than medical school. A PhD is more research focused and um, medical school is more professional focused. It depends too on what you get your PhD in. But I will give you guys some tips whether you're applying to um, medical school or you're applying to graduate school or you're applying to college uh, that you can hopefully use. My very first tip is to do your research. This is the most important thing that you can do. I think people don't realize when they decide to go to graduate school that it's all about your advisor and it's all about the school and the department and the location. You want to research into what programs would be the best for your field. You can Google it, do the top, say it's psychology for example, Google the top 10 um, psychology graduate programs in the country or top 20 or 50 or whatever. It's so so important as well to look into what research the advisor and the faculty is doing. Pinpoint whose research you would be most interested in because that's probably the research you're going to be doing for the next five years. You don't have to do it for the rest of your life, uh, but do research into the faculty members and what they're studying. This will also help you when you're applying because you'll be able to indicate on your application the advisor you want to work with and you can bring up some good points about the research that they study. Definitely do research too into the location. What is there to do there? Is this a place you can live for the next five years of your life? Um, study or research the facilities. Do they have state-of-the-art technology? Do you even care about that? Research funding. What funding do they offer? What um, scholarships? What fellowships? What financial aid? That's extremely important too. Uh, basically, you don't want to go into any life-changing decision without doing your research. Whether you're applying for college, graduate school, medical school, any of that. You have to do your research or you're setting yourself up to fail. The next important thing when you are trying to get into graduate school is to understand your strengths and weaknesses. There are a number of elements or documents 
that are a part of a graduate school application. One is your transcript, another is your GRE scores, um, another is your personal statement or statement of purpose, uh, as well as if they have you submit like a writing sample and resume or your CV. I'm not sitting here saying do well on your GRE and on your transcript because that's that's a given everybody's trying to do that more importantly is to understand your strengths and your weaknesses for example I am more of a test taker than I am a GPA person so my test scores have always been stronger than my GPA but because I know that I use my test scores to buffer um, kind of the difference in my GPA a lot of people that you're going to compete with for spots into graduate school they some of them may have 4.0 some of them may have really high GRE scores but another thing that's going to set you apart is what makes you unique so you really want to take advantage of highlighting your strengths as opposed to your weaknesses and using those strengths to overcome any I guess um, any shortcomings in your application. You also want to emphasize these strengths in your personal statement, in your essays, in your application uh, because you may have some internship experience or research experience or life experience that somebody else with a 4.0 doesn't have. So when you're applying to any graduate school program you really want to understand what your strengths and your weaknesses are. Next thing and one of the most important things is to network, network, network. You want to network Work your butt off. That's going to require a bit of initiative. If that scares you, you either need to get over it or you, grad school is not for you. Because in a grad school situation, you are going to be working as a team with your advisor and with other graduate students, and you'll need those networking and people skills and communication skills in order to survive. So now is a good time to start practicing those. You want to network by reaching out to the faculty members at the school or in the department you're applying to. Reach out to who, whichever faculty member. Um, most closely resembles your interests as far as research and you want to reach out to them send them an email um, google good good example emails this is very important and it's a first step in kind of applying to graduate school before you submit any scores any transcripts you need to reach out to that advisor whether you email them or you call them or if you're in their proximity if you stop by their office what I did was when I found my advisor that I wanted to work with in graduate school I sent her an email and I can't remember if she responded the first time or not because professors are extremely busy they probably get a dime a dozen emails so you may even have to follow up so don't take it personally if it's been a few weeks and you haven't heard anything just follow up so I made sure to email her and follow up and when I heard back from her um, you know I just told her I'm really interested in your research and in your lab are you accepting any graduate students for the fall and she told me that she was and I immediately set up a time to meet with her I discussed with her my interest and my desire to apply to the program and got some more information uh, from her about the program so you want to make sure you're asking lots of questions it shows you're interested and it kind of keeps the conversation going but more importantly I asked her what I needed to do what I needed to have in my application in order to get into the program. This is a free gimme. If you have somebody who's sitting there and they're going to tell you what you need to do, that's, you know, you're you're some of the way there already. So she explained to me that, you know, my GPA wasn't the most important thing, more so my experience in the field and GRE scores and my recommendations. So you want to network. Letters of recommendation for graduate school, any school, are so, 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 so important. You would be surprised, especially at the graduate school level, how much weight letters of recommendation carry. So you want to go to your recommenders, somebody who you think can give you a very strong recommendation, and don't be afraid to ask them. Ask them, can I have a very strong letter of recommendation? And if they say no or if they hesitate, mm -mm. don't even, don't even, don't even ask them. Just say, you know, I understand, you're busy, thank you anyway, but your recommenders are so important in getting into graduate school. That can really make the difference. You're only able to present a certain perspective or a certain aspect of yourself in a test score, in a transcript, in 
in a personal statement, even in an interview, you only have, you know, one first impression. So being able to draw from other people's opinions of you, especially highly respected people's opinions, is very invaluable to grad school committees. So it's very important to get really, really great letters of recommendation and network your butt off. Thank <laughs> you.